Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episodes of season two of Me Not Me Cards. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in three, two, one. Oh, that was weird. Ugh. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, okay. He must have got washed. He's getting dried. That's so cute. Oh, she going back in time. Hmm? Oh. Kana. <laughs> this damn girl. Oh, my God. You falling for that? Her ass ran. Hello. Possibly, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And it's going to be a dumb, dumb reason. Because we, we know Kana. I mean, that is some ASMR eating up in there. Jesus, <laughs> Oh my god, Kana! Kana! Here we go again. You're like, oh my god, I don't feel so good. <laughs> It's a bell. You know, like in the hospital when they have like the call bell. But you're sick, right? You can't have anything heavy, heavy. Chiaki looking at her like, you mother effing liar. Not the, no, that's cola. They're like, I see through your ass.
Duh. Yeah, that'll test. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, fun. Did she actually get sick? <laughs> That's what she get. My girl is really gonna fake being well just for some food. Well, you need to drink something hot and fast. <laughs> oh. You two gonna be spending a lot more time together. Oh, not the cat. Damn. A poor kitty. Well, who else would it be?
Damn, that had to hurt. Uh oh. We hope. <laughs> you need to eat something and get some good sleep. Girl, that child gonna kill you. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, why are there so many pills and everything around? Yep. Ew. Not the snot. You know, honestly, I feel like his love is never going to be.
love her to death. But I just need her to read the damn room. Like, girl. <laughs> oh, shit, I can't. <laughs> Because, you know, it's just because he likes you and he's afraid of saying your first name. Excuse me. Okay, I I feel bad for Chiaki, one, because eventually, regardless of the other day, babe got sick. Pretending to be sick is, I mean, big no-no. Now, unless, here, here's my thing. Unless there's a game release or a movie you want to see, let's say an anime movie that's coming out sometime next month. And you really want to go see it because you have a crush on a character and his sayu, yes. And then one of your personal favorite sayus is going to be in it. Instead of me calling in sick, I would do a day off, which is still like a, a day off slash sick day or whatever. But kind of moral of the story, we have don't <laughs> Because in the end, she got sick. But she obviously was like, no, I feel fine. And she's like, I want this certain type of meat. Mm, go get this ish tonight. And when she was like, <laughs> I'd be like, mm, I said, I said, I said, I said. So when Chiaki was like, yeah, you got a cold, didn't you? She was trying to deny, 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 and such. Because we all do it. Like, I remember <laughs> when I was a kid, you know, the, um, the red cough syrup medicine that tastes like absolutely disgusting. Like it, it's the most nastiest. Like throw up, gag me with a spoon type of medicine. But of course, you take it because it makes you feel better. So, um, as you hear me now, like this is all nothing but freaking allergy. I, I despise allergy season with a passion and I already put took a damn um allergy pill but sometimes even after taking the allergy pill I'll still get effects of like sneezing or whatever or watery eyes or some shit but okay this was more this is like in between that and then a little bit of cold so when I was a kid I would cough like you know of course when you get a cold or you know um during allergy season and I like I would cough so much that like it, it annoyed my mom and such and so my mom would be like if you cough one more time I'm gonna give you you know the, the cough medicine so I would be like this and you know how when you feel like you're gonna cough and your whole like front of your mouth just expands with air because you're like I am trying to let this out but I don't want to and so sometimes I would be like this It's such, so sometimes I couldn't hide it. So, and then I had to take the damn medicine. But in the end, of course, I felt better. I would always be like, when you give me the medicine, can I have some water, some juice to, like, wash it down with? Because, once again, that is just nasty as F. Like, it's the most disgusting medicine to take. But, of course, it's good for you. And nobody wants to drink. Yeah, I mean, not even drink. Nobody wants a spoonful of cough syrup medicine. Especially the cherry flavor because it don't it don't taste like cherry. It tastes like medicine, and that's why that's another reason why I don't like cherry flavored things. I can eat me some like, um, what Starburst or whatever, but like if it's cherry flavored Kool Aid, not anymore. Or um, one of them like Kool Aid Jammer type things. Anything that is like red cherry red flavored juice wise. To me, it just reminds me of the medicine taste, and I, I can't get it out of my mouth. Now, like candy, I don't give a f. But 
big no-no. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode... Hold on. Episode 12. Alrighty, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1. Oh my fucking god. Well, it feels like her sense is very much like an older version of Kana. What you want to do? Have her... Oh my god. Damn, y'all give out medicine like there's nothing? Uh, I mean, uh, American schools, we can't do that unless it's a prescription. Go on, spit it out, remember.
me when I'm at work. Say it again, girl. Say it again. Bye. Huh? Not really. Her face, her face is all that I need to know. <laughs> Me when I wake up and I'm like, fuck, I gotta go to work, I gotta work. <laughs> oh, it'd be so true. You wake up and you can be like, God damn it, I gotta go to work tonight. <laughs> I feel for him. He, he's still very much it's shy. He's been like that since, you know, ever since we met him. He's only, like, he puts himself out there with Chiaki, but still, I think not to the point that he really wants to. That's why it looks like every single time Chiaki is, like, kind of pissed with him or peed with him and such, and like I've always said for him, anytime you want to talk to her, just say it. Don't be afraid about that, you know? You could help him. And you could. Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. You shouldn't have to do everything. It would be better if all three of you do it. 
right? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I, I hope she's okay. I mean, still practice, but damn. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> oh, Chiaki, she a trip. I love her so much. Best girl. Because she's like, yeah, you don't really have to come. A savage. My girl, Chiaki. Please don't hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no.
You, come with me. Well, like a father figure. Older brother, mother figure. No, 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 no. By yourself? You want to eat with her? Come on. I fell for him because, you know, he really wanted to do this, but due to the fact he's moving, it just, it sucks.
Well, you he moved. Damn. We didn't get to say goodbye to him. That's kind of really what he, what he wanted. Or for you to acknowledge him, you know? You might not be able to see him again now. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's high school for ya. But d did she tell her sister so? Well, I'm guessing that that is exactly what the final episode is going to be about. Okay. I feel bad for Fuyuki because, I mean, number one, I was really thinking that when he came in between the end of season one going into season th two, I was expecting him to be a lot more of a bigger role for his, for his time. And I mean, in a way he was, but I was expecting him to be... In the entirety of the rest of the series, not for like a limited time and then to go. But I mean, there is a little bit of a possibility for him to possibly come back. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. It's just, you know, I have to wait and see. Now, with the elephant in the room of Minami or, you know, Hanukkah being the one chosen for the student exchange program and not telling her sisters about it, it is a little weird Maybe it's because of the fact that she hasn't had the time um, to really talk to them about this. Because this isn't the first time we've heard about this. But I do feel bad because this is going to possibly end on a maybe kind of sad note. I am not 100% sure. But regardless, I don't know. I just still build bad for Fuyuki because he, he really wanted to say like whatever he really wanted to say to Chiaki, but I, he was just so super afraid. But who knows? He might get a second chance in like season three, possibly. Maybe. I don't know. The sports festival was nice, though. I, I thought that was really cute. And, and the fact that, you know, Chiaki had a moment with Haraka, like, duh. Cute freaking sisters and doing cute little shit, and I, I can't fucking take it. I love it so freaking much. So freaking adorable. Like, <laughs> but to find this homegirl literally was like, ain't that Mako-chan? You're like, oh shit, no. Oh my god. And I'm like, oh god, here we go. Ah, I can't. Oh, Jesus Christ. I honestly really have nothing else to say, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode of season two. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Wait, no. There's a big possibility on that. And see, the funny thing is, when you look at the opening, and especially when it starts on Hanukkah, Hanukkah immediately runs to a London toll booth. Or telephone booth, not a toll booth. So, would she be going to London? And if it's so, then I, I get it. I understand why she's very much secretive about it. But at the same time, she should have told her sisters, like, very, very, like, soon, ASAP. I mean, dang. Kinda your big mouth ass. Oh my god, girl.
again, she isn't the one, you know, gonna be in the exchange program. What if it's just someone else named Minami? This, <laughs> this mother ever. He, he literally is gonna follow her to the ends of the mother effing earth. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, because you'll be the older sister in a way. Nice. I know I would. Because to be honest, Kana, I've been disappointed to you with you since the beginning of this damn series. But I also love you, babe. I'm guessing so. Yes and no.
Oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. <sighs> Did y'all cook it long enough? I feel bad for these two. Jesus, Lord, help the babies. I, I hope. Because those two ate too many damn. <laughs> That's still a rubbery. How'd I cook when I come home? Be like, hey guys, what happened? <laughs> What's up? What happened? What did you do today? Like, oh my god. No. Not, not a lot. Kinda. Oh. 
Good. And Hanukkah going to say, well, what are you two talking about? No. Not the song from season one. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, final thoughts. This second season was really freaking good. I mean, season one... <laughs> season one, top tier. Season two, they took the stuff that I loved about season two, season one and was like full throttle, like, ish. And I love that. I mean, season one was good, but season two was like hella better. With just the gags and the funny, like, moments and stuff, which was really good. I, I mean, I got to see new characters and stuff like that. Um, you know, learning about our, our girls and everything and everybody else and such. But I honestly cannot wait to see what the hell is going to happen next. Um, I think my only sad thing is the situation of Fuyuki, as we spoke, spoke about in the previous episode. I mean, I, I was expecting more from him, but, you know, just to only be here for a limited time and then to go, it, it truly sucks because... There is no character, you know, that you don't want to see end up leaving the show, whether it's they leave on their own or they get killed and such. You feel bad for them still to this day, but, you know, hopefully. 
something good happen soon. He wrote her. That's so sweet. Hmm? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Because nobody fucking told him or he overheard about the ish. Hit this book. <laughs> this dumbass going all the way to San Francisco. <laughs> okay, here's my thing. How long is a flight from Japan? You know what? Let's set that up. <laughs> How long is a flight from Japan to San Francisco, California? A flight from San Francisco, CA to Tokyo, Japan takes approximately 10 hours and 48 minutes. Damn. This is from travelmath.com. And on that 10 hour flight, he's just going to be thinking, yeah, I'm going to have a lemon time with Haruka. He gets to San Fran and he don't see her anywhere. Oh my god, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Well, that's usually what happens when you assume, so never assume, you guys. But no, definitely. Season two really was a lot better than season one. Like, yeah, like season one, good AF. Season two, better AF. Season three, I have no idea what the hell is going to happen. Um, I do love the fact is that both Chiaki and Kana literally was like, bam, we're going to be very independent because, of course, they're both automatically thinking that, yeah, their older sister is going to go off, see the world and stuff, and who knows when the hell they're going to see her again. So I love the fact that this is like, okay, we can't play around. We really have to, you know, show her that we can survive without her. It, it's very, you know, sad and not, not only sad, but still, you know, uplifting that, you know, people can do that and stuff. It's the biggest test. Um, for an example, like, if I can say this, okay. So, there was a while back ago where my mom went, um, it was, a, it was a week. I went, I was, I was off work. And my mom went on vacation. <laughs> Mind you. And so she was, due to some things, she was going to be extremely busy and stuff. And I wasn't going to be able to, um, call her and such, uh, for help and everything and so it was like the first time that I was going to be by myself and such and I was really really afraid now I think if it was to a situation where that happened again and she needed to go somewhere whether it was for like a vacation or whatever um I'm okay with it I can handle it myself plus I'm a grown adult and so um so I would definitely be okay but like as my mom always says well, make sure you have this person and this person all on speed dial because you never freaking know because like best thing um I mean, if there is anything else I could say, I love this show in its entirety, even though we are really not done with it yet. We still have, like, more stuff to go on with this group of girls and this shit that these three go into. Um, so, I mean, I still loved it for what it was. It was a damn good series, and I hate the fact that we are kind of done with it, but like I said, we're not overall done with it. It's not like... Um, the many other series that I've reacted to when I get to the final episode, and I'm like, damn, I really wish I could just go back in time and just rewatch this from the beginning, but, you know, <sighs> can't do that, unfortunately. But no, this was, like, 
everything I wanted and more for season two. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards the entirety of season two of Minami K. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for Rebels. I think it is either season three or it's an OVA. I got to go back and look to see what is the next one in store and such. So, whenever I find out and when I do have time next week to record it, you know, we'll move on to that. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.